Okay, y'all. All right, we're gonna try this again. Um, I'm wearing all of this big garb, big heavy overcoat, uh, big heavy uh, coveralls. And I'm trying to get the camera close to where you have a very good picture and lots of detail. And that's what I strive for in these videos. However, unfortunately, sometimes bad things happen. Just recently, the, my phone, which is what I do all my recording with, was sitting right here. I reached across over here, and as I was coming, I reached across to that outlet. As I was coming back over here, my phone was sitting right here. It got knocked off. I didn't even feel it. I couldn't even feel it because all of this heavy coveralls I'm wearing so now there's a crack right here on my screen I you know I was really really good about not getting a crack on the screen even though I've dropped the phone several times but I was very good about not getting you know any sort of cracks or anything on the screen or anything now it's cracked this is why I hate winter. I hate wearing all of this. It's such a pain in the... It's just a real pain in the butt. Okay? Alright, let's carry on with the project here at hand. So... Yeah, let's carry on with the project. All right. Okay. Uh, it came to me as a revelation. Why not go ahead and clean all of this up and clean the crud off of it while you got the wheel studs off? So that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. I'm going to take grinder here and I'm gonna clean all of this just caked on built up just crud that, that nothing ever seems to be able to cut through so I'm gonna do this and I'll show you the results later well I'll tell you what I'll do a little bit here on the camera get a closer look Let's see right there get a lot here so not bad okay all right I'm going to pause this and I'm going to carry on I'm going to clean the back side of the axle up back here some maybe try to get some of this crud off of this here Okay. All right. Be right back. Okay, y'all. All right. I've got just about all of the stuff cleaned off I can get off. Um, now, it's time to start putting some wheel studs in. And uh, no, I'm not going to use the hammer method like I was done. I'm going to use the wheel lug nut method. I've got the lug nut... Uh, lubricated with plenty of oil and engine oil that is and you can use wheel bearing grease um, basically you can use just about any kind of lubricant you choose it, there's no you notice I'm also kind of putting this on back I'm putting this on backwards uh, reason being 
is so that when it goes on, it will go on. And it will pull that wheel stud uh, straight, but it will also help to uh, It'll also help to spread the load out on these washers. So, that's the idea. Let's see. One small. Here we go. All right. Oops. My axle turned on me. Let's see, can I tighten down a bit more? Actually, is. Okay. Another thing to do when you're doing this is make sure the threads are clean on the lug nut and the wheel stud. Didn't have to worry about the lug nut because, well, I mean the wheel stud because they're brand new. I'm going to flip this around. Okay. Probably should have kept one or two old wheel studs in there. So, this just turns out to be a little bit of an adventure. Let's see. Can I come up with something here? Okay. I'm going to need more torque. You notice this washer it is getting very very deformed I'm gonna go ahead and replace it let's see I've got to reposition my thinking about it I would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers new and old uh, I have passed 550 subscribers which is pretty amazing I'm really 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 um, excited about that I got a I put another washer on, but it's tighter fitting. So, and I'm going to put a little anti-seize on those threads. Okay, here we go. Even though there already had some engine oil on there, I kind of felt like maybe the engine oil wasn't enough.
if you don't have a big long handled ratchet like this you can use a, a regular half inch drive ratchet like what I was using and put a cheater pipe on it just a piece of pipe which basically just lengthens the ratchet My vice is working its way loose and chewing through that rag. That's why it's easier to do this when it's in the vehicle sometimes. Almost there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just checking to make sure that the haven't pulled any threads off of anything. I don't think I have. Yeah, I have, but it's the lug nut. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and run a tap over that just to make sure I didn't bugger up the threads. Cause it's not looking terribly healthy. So, I'll be right back. Okay, you see what I'm talking about? Pulled all the threads out of that nut. Actually, the wheel stud itself is pretty nice. I'm gonna run this tap all the way up just to make sure there's no, no boogers or nothing like that in it. about as far up as I can go with it. All right, so that wasn't particularly successful, was it? So, but I got the wheel stud in. And I see what I did wrong. I'll show you what I did wrong. Okay. You see, I had 
Where's that big heavy washer at? Right. Okay. Thought I had a bigger, heavier washer than this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. All right, see this guy? Okay. This got up on that shoulder of that wheel stud. Okay. And didn't. I had it back there like that. And it jammed up and it caused that the threads to get pulled out of that wheel at that, uh, that lug nut. It's not a great loss because, you know, but it was a good lug nut, but, oh well. I mean, I've got plenty, so. I'm just glad it didn't damage the wheel stud. So, okay. All right, we're gonna rotate this around. Okay, you also wanna look at your lug nut and make sure that it is straight. Okay, make sure it's straight in there. It's not crooked one way or the other. Yeah, um, got over 500 subscribers, so, I mean, not only, I got over 550, I'm sorry, 550. I'm really, really thankful for that. I really appreciate you all. Um, I can't thank you enough. That's just huge, and I think, you know, I really, I'm fortunate that you all uh, want to watch my videos and partake, you know, commenting and all of that. I really do appreciate that. It's really, means a lot to me. Okay, new plan. <laughs> all right. Trust me, I've done this before. Okay, so here's here's a wheel stud. Okay, here's a wheel stud, and here's the washers. I'm just gonna make sure these washers go back there uh, on this face. Okay, so the new wheel, the other new wheel stud, which here is the part number if you need. 610174. These are a stock length, all right? So they're not going to be uh, extra long for like if you're drag racing a lot. Some people like that. I tell you what, I'm going to make life just a little bit easier on me, and I'm going to put some anti seize uh, or some, some sort of lubricant on here on the shank um, just to make it. Just a little easier for this thing to go on there. Okay. Nothing. Okay. I know I need to get some soft gels for, for my vice. Don't have to comment. Already aware of it. So. Oh, another thing is we need... Yeah, when you are doing this, make sure your washers don't fall off. Okay. Um, not going to use that old bent up one anyway. Make sure that your um, your nut, wet lug nut you're going to use, has enough thread engagement. Okay? You don't want to try to start push, pulling it in with just that much. You want to make sure you got you know, quite a bit of thread engagement. Okay, so that's really super important. Let that. All right, so need a new lug nut now. Okay, so here we go. This one doesn't look bad. I'm gonna blast some brake parts cleaner through here. Seize on the wheel side as well. 
this anti-seize, I put oil in it so that it doesn't get all pasty, okay, and become an issue because uh, that can happen. I've seen it happen. Just use the you know these are a half 20 thread okay so that's 20 inches per thread okay that's what that basically means to finish pulling this one in and I'll show you the results afterwards like I normally do and um, all right see you in a minute be right back okay y'all as we can see my car was getting checked out by Oliver getting a cat scan um, okay, ta-da, all the wheel studs are in, and I went ahead and took time to clean up the brake drums that are going to go on the eight and three quarter that's going in my truck over there. I cleaned up this axle too. Um, these have still got, I'm going to spray them down with some brake parts cleaner to clean more of the dust off of them and stuff like that because uh, there's still a lot of that just dusty dirty residue i might even take them to the car wash and blast them off so uh, yeah i think i actually i think i will do that maybe tomorrow evening um so finally got the adapters got these from uh the jungle website Amazon so I've already tried them on here but I will go ahead and bolt one up and let's see it so here we go just put this right here run it down As you can see, it fits really, really snug. Really, really nice. Um, I'm just going to take a couple of these and run down on the new wheel studs that I've put in this axle. The other axle did not get new wheel studs because the other axle, the wheel studs in it, look fantastic. So I didn't see any reason to change those out. Okay. Here, got, here I went and put that away. Put away the uh, my ratchet. So... Let's see, let me get my ratchet back out. Uh, yeah, three quarter inch. Oh, this is a thick wall impact socket. No, that's what I thought. Okay. Alrighty. 
19, I got an 18. 19 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Well, I got just 13 sixteenths. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta get the right socket. Okay, I went and got a 19 millimeter socket and just run these down with my fingers. But you can see right there, these fit really nicely. Uh, these will allow me to run the current wheels that are on my D150 here. Uh, they are five on five and a half inch lug pattern. These are an inch wide, so yeah, it's going to push my tire, my rear tires out an inch. Um, I don't think that's going to be that much of a problem because my wheel tubs are pretty generous in this thing. And uh, I've done a little measuring. I've got, I've got clearance, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem there with that. Um, also, it allow me to use these wheels but also the spare as well so i don't have to flop back and forth i can put these on and then once these are on just make sure they're nice and tight but they fit very very nicely um i do not re recall the part number um actually i don't recall the manufacturer but there is the part number it's 5450-5550X-10. Okay, so. And then they've got the 5 on 5 by, or 5 on 4 and a half and 5 on 5 and a half, which refers to the original lug pattern of these axles is 5 on 4 and a half. That's 5 wheel stud, 5 lug studs, 4 and a half inch spacing. Okay, and then, and I'll show you how to measure that. It's really, really stupid simple. You don't have to have a special equipment. Just a regular old measuring tape will work just fine. All you do here to do this, it's like, it's like brutally, brutally simple. Outside of one wheel stud, okay, and then center of the other one. So we're at the center of that one. And that's four and a half inches. All right. Really brutally simple. I'll zoom in and let you see better. See? Five on four and a half. Okay, um, now, five on five and a half. Okay, so there you go. Really, really easy, really, really simple, straightforward, no special equipment necessary. You can get the special measuring tools if you want to. That's up to you. Um, I wouldn't, but that's just me. Because I've been able to use that method right there numerous occasions and have gotten excellent results every time. So, but just like the wheel studs, um, the wheel studs took a combination of pulling them in with the lug nuts back up here, and also took uh, some hammering on the wheel stud back. A combination of both so that's another thing that is up to you uh, you can do that however you like that's just my way of doing it but it's up to you okay but wheel brake drums have already been turned inside uh, I had them turned quite a while back and now they've got a little bit of rust inside not nothing pity just like surface rust so, uh, while I was outside getting some tools, I thought, wait a minute, I could take these to work and clean them up in their parts cleaner. And 
it would not rust make the drums rust inside anymore so I'm gonna do that um, just one little thing here I want to show you here real quick uh, we got this part number here on this axle which I thought was kind of cool I don't know 5159 man I hope that's not the uh, okay all right I hope that's not the part number or the casting manufacturing date okay I'm gonna have to get off here folks it's about to lay down and die on me it's running out of battery so I thank you very much for watching thank you thank you thank you thank you for all the subscribes the likes the shares and everything like that uh, and I'm I'm making plans on being at the No Name Nationals, so let's see what happens, okay? Hopefully with the Barracuda and the D-150, so, all right, hope to have a great time. I'd like to see you there. God bless. Have a great one.